So we'll we'll see you after a while. Take care. Hey, hello everybody. Hello. How you guys doing? You doing all right? Huh. It feels so good to be out here on a great day. You've all had your your, your good times, I suppose. Huh? Do, do you like that thing that they call Easter? Now, ours was cool. We did it. We didn't do it last week. We did it the week before. It was so nice because like everything was backward timing or something and because our daughter was going to go to Berlin. So it's just so cool and easy and no, no big deal happening and, and it was so slow it's like, and everybody else was still running around and it was just, it was nuts, nuts good, nuts good. You know, a closed mouth gathers no foot. Uh, it just feels so good to kind of be up here again. We had we were off the air last month. Uh, Audio Tom had a terrible sort of accident, and and that, that took us off the air. And I suppose even though it was really crappy, it was really good too. So kind of had the time to kind of chill out a little bit and kind of get moving, moving, moving along a little bit better. Do you get the feeling that sometimes you need that too? I seem to have to have it. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you hear the 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 kitty the kitty kitty rock group? They're called Silver Fish. They broke up. <laughs> they broke up. Can you believe it? Yeah. Their leader, it seems, got hooked on phonics. Oh, you know, it feels good. It's kind of just a little few days after the holiday. The craziness, the craziness that's been in our sort of political scene here in America. I mean, do you remember when people were a certain whatever it is they do, Republican or a, a Democrat or a independent. I mean, they really believed it. They were doing it for the country. Isn't that a strange thing for some of you? But it's not to me. I just find it very unusual that, that we're going through all this stuff. Some's got to change. And I think tonight it might come because D comes after C in search of a name. I'm talking about one of the hardest working men in show business. He's been a devotee of all the greats. Tonight he'll bring back his version, his rendition of Roy Orbison 
And Dave has done so many different sort of peoples as he's come on the show. He's a prolific songwriter, a guitarist. And he's just done so many different things and tonight. He's a one-of-a-kind musician. He always has been, always will be. Dave Kremen is with us this evening. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can tell you everyone knows someone who has passed on. Said I can tell you everyone knows someone who has gone, 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 gone. Everyone sees a picture or a flash and in time there's nothing there. The voice is gone. It's gone to another life. And what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You stand up and rise up and Continue moving on. That's what this band has done after Paul H. Taylor, the lead singer, passed away recently. They're here with us tonight and going to share some memories and talk about what's what. Montero Mountain Boys are with us playing right now. Everyone's star shines tonight. Shines for... Avril Hughes, Butler, Paul H. Taylor, Roy Orbison, Chet Helms, and on and on and on. And that's the way it goes, isn't it? That's the way it goes. On and on and on. So right now, if you can put your the left side of your brain and just think about somebody that's passed on that you know and use the right side of your brain, put your hands together for the Montero Mountain Boys. Yes, boy, yes. Uh. Who makes the whiskey with the water? Who makes the whiskey with the wine? If you've been doing like you ought to, you'll be looking for a way to toe the line. Looking for that magical elixir. Something that'll bring me back my youth Looking for a drink that needs no mixer Looking to replace my missing tooth Who makes the whiskey with the water? Who makes the whiskey with the wine? If you've been doing like you ought to You'd be looking for a way to toe the line Looking for that special incantation Looking for the words you long to hear Searching for a close association Hey man, I'm just looking, looking for, for a beer Who makes the whiskey with the water? Who makes the whiskey with the wine? If you've been doing like you ought to Looking for a way to toe the line Looking for that special incantation Looking for the words you long to hear Social for a close association Hey man, I'm just, just looking, looking for a beer Who makes the whiskey with the water? Who makes the whiskey with the wine? Water. You'll be looking for a way to tow the line. Who makes the whiskey with the water? Who makes the whiskey with the wine? Like Bruce did. If you've been doing like you oughta, be looking for a way to tow the line. You'll be looking for a way to tow the line. You'll be looking for a way to tow the line.
Paul H. Taylor wrote that, yes. And he wrote this one too. Paul H. Taylor. Now we're going to do a song I wrote. It's a fun little song. <laughs> you can tell it's fun because it's called Fun House. It's a song about work. Uh, something I don't do anymore. Work. <laughs> Up and get on in the ring. Too many times 
times I've seen this happen. Too many times the sound of one hand clapping. I hate to think my head is snapping, but it is. What do you say to that? Less the better. Been done once before. To What do you say to that? Thank you. Fun house. Another song I wrote, another happy song. Written on a cold, windy day on Market Street called Fool. Thank you. Hi. Cool. 
you guys. Montera Mountain Boys, kind of I look at them and it's kind of a highly emotional thing because you know for over the years I I had this, these group, this group of boys on and uh, and uh, Paul Taylor was out front singing and uh, then he uh, then he passed on and so the guys decided well we're going to go ahead and uh, and continue singing continue moving on and I'll, I'll let uh, Ken uh, get all hooked up and we can talk a little bit about what, what's what's going on you know where they're going to be performing they're a great great West Coast group and uh, and then when you close your eyes and you start thinking the Montera mountain boys you know, I see this mountain and I see the, the people up there play, sort of playing and everybody gather around dancing a little bit having a fire and and who knows what but yeah, so they're going to be moving on. They're going to be just seeing what, 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 what's beyond the pale. Ken Saylor is with me now. He was um, doing some singing and playing. He's uh, with me. We'll be just doing some talking. Put your hands together for them, him, please. Hi, man. Good to see you, Ken. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, man. Great. I like your hat. This is nice, huh? My yeah. wife picked it out. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think she, I have any taste? Well, oh, she has a way with taste, doesn't she? married me. Well, look at you. I know. Huh? I heard that. <laughs> You've got some... Let, let everybody know who's, who's in the group tonight yeah, with you. Yeah, well, the old-time Montana Mountain Boys. We have Nick Evanson tonight uh, on mandolin. Great mandolin player. Bill, uh, Hartman back on bass. Yeah, he is great. Uh, they're the old-timers. There's me, of course. And then uh, we brought in a, a new a new old-timer, Dennis Sherman, to fill in on guitar. Wow. He's uh, subbed for people who have missed gigs for many, many years. And he was ready to come in and lend a hand, and we were all too willing to, to let him. So you got a call, you received, hold that, hold that hand. You received a call and, and, and somebody said, Paul is gone. What, what that well, was? Well, actually, I guess uh, Nick received a call, and uh, oh, yeah. I was actually in the bathroom, and. Uh, my wife starts yelling at me, come out, come out, Nick is here, Nick is here. And I thought, well, what's Nick doing here, you know? And I came out and uh, Nick said, hey, you know, I got a phone call and uh, yeah, yeah, Paul passed away. Jeez. And to which I said, what? Yeah. <laughs> and he repeated it, you know, Paul passed away. And, when did uh, it finally hit home with you, dude? Uh, I think it's still kind of you know, hit yeah, home. Yeah, it's kind of with yeah. me too. I like, wait a minute, this guy, he was standing right out in front, he was singing for you guys forever. I would go to some of the gigs. And, and then now he's gone. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, so what was what made uh, made the deal? What, what, did you, what made you say to yourself, oh, well, well, we're going to continue on? Oh, uh, we just all kind of got on the phone and called each other and said, does anybody want to keep doing this? Yes. And everybody said, yes. hell yeah. And uh, so we said, fine, let's go ahead and start working through this stuff and figure out who's going to do what. And here we are. That's that's uh, incredible to me uh, because you 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 know you you've taken a huge loss and now boom, then you take a big step forward. So who knows what's going to happen? Where are you going to be performing uh, in the next few weeks? Well, actually, we we have a gig this Saturday down at the uh, San Gregorio General Store. Oh God, well, one of the great places where you that. guys go. And uh, we'll be there from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. San Gregorio General Store. General Store and 11 then to on 1. You say. Saturday, May 18th, I believe it's Saturday, but it is May 18th. We're going to be performing at the Chit Chat Cafe. Jeez. Right across the street from the post office in Pacific Manor. Yeah, I think you were one of the first groups to, to, to perform there one time, I think. Yeah, we go back a ways, that's Yeah, for sure. that's what I'm thinking. God, that's wonderful, man. You're, you're, you're going to be playing, you're going to be just sort of talking about what's happening. There are those in the audience that want to know, where's your CD? Do you think you'd be working on that down the road? Ah, uh, that's a good question. You know, it's, Doesn't matter. It's, it's a good question, and, and, and it'll happen when it happens, right? Yeah. I mean, right now, we're still kind of getting our feet <laughs> under us and getting used to some of this material. We are doing some of the songs that we did with Paul. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, none of us are Paul, but, you know, out of respect, we just want to, we want to carry his music and the music we did with him forward. He was your kind, uh, gentle soul to me, and then he was also a, a teacher as well. So at his funeral, they, they, uh, all these kids that were 30 and 35 years old were his students <laughs> and would come to it. And, you know, when, you, when a person does really kind of extraordinary things in their life and nobody else knows about it, 
you know, I know about it. So if I took somebody out, let him come over for our dinner for, for doing uh, in his, his heyday of working, mm. uh, did some really wonderful things for people. And, uh, and that's what, what, what Paul was as well. So you're, you're, you got the good sound, the good everything going for you. I'm just hoping it all, all turns out well for you. Keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah, man. Just keep going forward. That's the main thing. I think that's it, man. Good, you know, good luck. Let us know when you got other gig coming up and, and uh, tell us what's happening with you. We'll do that. And we hope to come back again and Thanks, fill your man. stage with. Ken Sailors is, is about ready to get ready and go in the back. He's probably going to sign some. Uh, uh, what you call it's a back there for all the people you've got That's to right. be sure to stand in a line and not break the line because there's the he's going to do the signing and then there's the, the cake you know the cake is there so anyway <laughs> ken sailors is here he's going to say goodbye and later you come by and do another piece for us yes sir thank you so much thank man. you here buddy thank Good you, to see you man. yeah <clears throat> it's weird i mean i want to say uh, <laughs> i want to say Okay, Paul. <laughs> but it don't happen that way, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Everybody I know is, you know, has has sort of some issue that's, that that happens with somebody and and then the issue is is past. But good memories are, you know, they're right here. They'll always be there too. Hmm. Boy, our next guest, he's been on this show I don't know how many times over the years, and he's really a special cat because he is, as I mentioned earlier, he's one of the hardest working men in show business. He's got about nearly 300 and a quarter gigs this year. Can you imagine that? Huh? I keep talking about what's happening in the, in the, in the, in the musical scene. You know, music is more than just a notion. I, I just... I just think it's great. He's going to be performing for one of his sort of idols and mine too, and some of yours as well, I'm sure. Um, uh, for, uh, Roy Orbison. I mean, God, I saw him live in 1960-something uh, in Redwood City. He's on our stage right now, and I, I'm hoping that, that, that you'll love what he's doing, and, and we'll go from there. Please welcome Mr. Dave Crimmin on our stage. Dave Crimmin, great to see you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Dum 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 be Oh yeah 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 Oh 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 Only the lonely Only the lonely Only the lonely Dum 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 be Know the way I my baby there goes my heart they're gone forever so far apart but only the lonely know why I cry only the
sinfonía I gotta go diving in the bay Gotta get a lot of oysters, find some pearls a day To make a pretty necklace for Leah Gotta go deep and find the ones just right I'll bet my Leo will be surprised tonight I'll place the pearls around the only girl for me But something's wrong, I cannot move around My leg is caught, it's pulling me down but I'll keep my hands shut tight for if they find me They'll find the pearls for Leah And now it's over, I'm awake at last Old heartaches and memories from the past It was just another dream about my lost love about Color clown, they call the Sandman. Tiptoes to my room every night, just to sprinkle stardust, and he whispers, "Go to sleep, everything is all right." I close my eyes and I drift away. To the magic night I softly say A silent prayer Like dreamers do Then I fall asleep And dream my dreams of you In dreams I walk with you Dreams I talk to you In dreams you're mine All of the time we're together In 
can't help it if I cry. I remember that you said goodbye. It's too do my favorite one right now dedicate this to my sister Jenny who used to take me everywhere with her transistor radio Bruce do you remember those that was cutting edge technology in 1961 yeah but this one was all over the radio this is my favorite Robertson song sha la la to be one bum 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 yep yep bum sha la la be wild, dum dum dum, yip yip, oh blue angel, don't you cry, just because he said goodbye, oh, I, I, no, don't cry, oh blue angel, have no fear, I'll brush your rage, only teardrop When love's precious flame Just burn in vain But you're not to blame Such a shame, but don't you cry, don't sigh. I'll tell you why. I'll never say goodbye. Blue angel, shall I lie to be wild? Bum, 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 yep, yep, bum. Wah, 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 wah. I've loved so fine Magic moments divine If you just say you're mine Love you till the end of time Don't you worry your pretty head I'll never let you down I'll always be around Blue angel sha la la To be wild Bum 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 Yep yep bum Blue angel sha la Mr. Dave Kremen. Oh, yeah, we're getting a look at Dave Kremen, the son of sun. Get it? Get it? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this here. Where he left off. Oh, yeah. And this is kind of a newer, newer one. Dave Kremen, full circle. Wow. Pretty good stuff. By the way, you folks that are checking out and you want to go to see, him, see this gentleman play, He'll be at uh, down here in this area of the uh, Pacifica. Uh, he'll be at uh, Nick's. Uh, it's a tribute show on the 11th of May. That's May the 11th. I say that's the 11th of May. May the 11th. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Anyway, that, yeah, that'll be at Nick's. There is a wonderful place to go and chow down and listen to some music. And he'll be doing a Roy Orbison tribute and a Ricky Nelson. I saw Roy 
uh, myself uh, in the 60s uh, uh, in Redwood City, and then I saw uh, uh, Ricky uh, at the San Mateo County Fairgrounds uh, not too long after or before he, he uh, passed away, but yeah, pretty, pretty interesting people. And that's one thing Dave does, you know, he's sort of, he can he not only sing on his own, play on his own, do his guitar on his own, he, he, he picks people out that he can sound like them kind of stimulate your what to call it. You know what I'm talking about? You've got to get your things stimulated. Your what you call it. Now I can't, you know, this is a family place there. I don't want to be talking nasty. Well, it's not a matter of nasty. Anyway, Dave's sitting next to me right now. I'm so pleased he's here. And he's he's kind of down like like some of us are. Put your hands together for Dave. Dave, thanks so much, man. Thank you, Bruce. How you doing? Boy, we're all right. I'm so pleased you're here and I, I was just looking at uh, your you're performing. And what I've noticed that with uh, with the uh, Orbison, you get great facial nuances. Your chin, your upper lip. Uh, do you, I mean, you don't sort of go out and buy that. You just sort of feel that, and you don't go out. Uh, you, I mean, you don't. You haven't lost a lot of weight or anything, huh? Um, I've studied a lot of Roy's videos. movements and shit. Yeah. Well, actually, Roy doesn't move. That's the hard part for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't and, do very well um, with that either. <laughs> um, I've had to go back to vocal lessons for the last year and a half, two years almost, because Roy Orbison sings rock and roll music, but yeah. like a classical singer. Of course. So I've had to get retrained, and it's been a lot of hard work. To I've always been able to hit the notes, but hitting them like Roy is a whole you different can hold that, yeah. ball game. Or okay, this is good. I'm yeah. used to this kind. Oh, there you go. There you go. Thank so you. So it is a whole new ball game, and it's been, you have done it for about a year or so, going back. Yeah, doing my homework. I'm just now bringing out to the public, and uh, a lot of the facial nuances you're talking about are part of singing in that style to relax your throat and all that. You don't open your mouth. It's amazing to me. And that's how Roy was able to do it. So uh, yeah, that's so. Besides not moving on stage, not opening my mouth is a very hard thing for me. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I, I, there are a lot of people out there who know me and they're laughing. Yeah, it's true. It's mm -hmm. a pretty, pr pretty heavy duty, man. When I, you saw the movie that, uh, what is it, Black and White? The I Black and White Night, which yeah. was a Cinemax TV special what in 1980. What an amazing thing. Yeah. I, I just had good shots of him up close. Yeah. And you just try to check, you know, how, what work he's doing as uh, Glottis or whatever, mm -hmm. and all the way up and down, and God, it was amazing. And I, I, he always hit me really strong. And making it look easy—that's oh part of it. Oh my God! Yeah. You know, and then and, and then having these other folks, a lot, you know, sort of singing with them, and and other. Oh my God! You know, oh, oh yeah, that Bruce means, Springsteen I mean, was up there. I mean, all these Kate, these Katie people. Lang, J.D. Oh, yeah. Souther, yeah. you know, Elvis Presley's TCB band was the band. James Burton on lead guitar. He's one of my guitar idols. So, yeah, and he uh, was standing up there, and then he was sort of playing off of, uh, uh, with, with uh, Bruce. Uh, so, but not really. He was just running all over Bruce. You well, <laughs> even Bruce huh? said that. But, you God. know, Bruce plays good, quite, fine lead guitar. Well. But yeah. James Burton is, I don't know, it's public television. Quickly, James wanna, Burton is the shit. <laughs> yeah, is. Exactly. Uh, quickly, because uh, uh, when did you start doing your guitar stuff? Because it seemed to me that may have been the very beginning of your deal, and then the voice, I don't know. No, I was singing when I was six months old. You were? According to my sisters, and uh, they were bringing home records by Elvis Presley and Little Richard when I was six months old. Gosh. Uh, and guitar, I started when I was nine in third grade there. KQED, Channel 9, used to have, them. used to be totally independent, and they yeah. had a, a homeschool guitar show by a Laura... James Edmonds Johnson, some sweet lady that yeah. ran a, a weekly show on how to play simple guitar. So I learned from that. Laura That's was fun. her first name. I can't remember the last name. I remember name. Channel, Channel 9 in those days. I mm -hmm. just thought they were kick butt in the, in the, in the scene at the time. Yeah. I don't know. You know I, I don't really go there now so much anymore. But, mm -hmm. but I thought, yes, they mm -hmm. I mean, and, and did a wonderful sort of a news program. Yeah. And a quick oh, shout out to my dad. It was his birthday on right. Sunday the 20th. And we used to watch when KTVU was an independent station yes. uh, Saturday mornings yeah. uh, before the Giants came on. There was a country variety show that was hosted by this guy named Black Jack Wayne. Yeah. And I found out it was, uh, it was uh, filmed in Sacramento and piped down here. 
But my dad always used to, because my dad played guitar and sang too. He sang right, country right. music. He, he always used to say, the guy in front who's strumming, he knows how to play guitar, boy. But you want to look at the guy in back. He really knows how to pick. So my dad was one of my biggest influences on Big deal. That's a, I'm glad that. we kind of went to that uh, uh, few sentences to go back in, in, in the early days for you. Once again, May the 11th, it's a Saturday. You're going to be at Nick's here in Pacifica, California, uh, and do a Roy Orbison, Ricky Nelson tribute. Thanks so much for coming. Hey, later, we can, can you come and do one more song? I can do one more. And everybody give Bruce a big hand for all these years of giving us local folks a, a chance and an opportunity to play our music and be seen. So thank Thanks, you, Bruce, Ryan. for hanging in there. Thank you. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's sweet, I'll tell you. I'm, uh, I don't know. We're going to have to get a, uh, Tom, how are we doing back there with the uh, microphone? I guess it just kind of went down on us, huh? but it's okay. No big deal. That's, that's the great thing about doing live stuff. It just kind of goes down, and you put another one in there, and you work on it as it's happening. I love it. That's a real large part of you know live live TV. Yeah. All right, we're going to go back to the, the folks that kind of brought us into this little scene tonight. The Montero Mountain Boys are going to give us another little flavor of what they're all about. Put your hands together for them, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the place you're going to play down there? Uh, San Gregorio. Oh, San Gregorio. I've been in there. I just love that joint. 
you go in, it's like a big, it's a big store, you know. God, and they, and they, I think they still got, they still have uh, 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 cheese. They cut the cheese. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, big old hunks of cheese. Yeah. You get that, sit down, and chill out, and have some nice music coming your way. Tonight is a week after Ed uh, Barber and his wife Siobhan celebrated their 28th wedding anniversary. Pretty damn cool. I'm so happy for them. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you can't beat that, you know. Yeah. Anyway, oh, also, this, this is important to me because I, I mean, I mentioned it earlier in the day, or in the, in the, in the beginning of the show, that, that uh, Avril uh, had passed away. Nice lady, God. Avril Hughes Butler. And she passed, and uh, very sad, wonderful girl. God, she used to. You know, turn us on to different guests when we, when we had the art uh, art car uh, thing that took over the nation uh, years ago. I, mean, I, I got close to some of the, the people on the top of that uh, list of uh, folks, and uh, it was just so so nice and made made us cookie uh, cookies and uh, just a sweet sweet sweetheart. Yeah, so I'm going to dedicate the show to to her. And I can just see her. I can see some of the people I talked about earlier. I can just see their face, you know, right in front of me, going, "Yes, man." You know, I can see Chet Helms going, "Yeah, man, you have the best live television show anywhere." And this was 30 years ago, 25 years ago. Just kind of, you know, any kind of re reaffirmation of what I wanted to do with the television, which is kind of a gentle thing, and. Uh, we're going back now to the, the gentleman that, that was on our show. And he's standing up on stage, and he's going to give us uh, whatever he feels like right now. Please welcome Mr. Dave Kremen. Yeah, Thank put you your hands. Every time I look into your loving eyes, I see a love that money just can't buy One look, come here I drift away I pray that you are here to stay Anything you want, you got it Anything you need, you got it. Anything at all, you got it, baby. Come on, y'all. Don't make 
so it must be okay I guess I'll go on home this later We'll meet tomorrow night But wait, what do I see? Is she walking back to me? Yeah, she's walking back to me. Oh, pretty woman. Dave, David Kremen. My God, he looks good. He is really, uh, the, the, I, don't, I can't believe, he was always a wonderful singer, and then he had to, went back for a year and a half, and he, he was, I don't know, it's really, really, really done quite well. And I should tell, you know, a secret, there's lots of people on the show tonight, or this is one of those nights where stuff is just happening, and our voices are gone, or this is a shot, and, and uh, that's, that's that. So we're all, we all deserve a big, what you call it, it comes on the back of your, uh, uh, on your back, a big petio on the back. Hey, we're going to go out with a little bit of groovy Judy this evening on her love uh, CD. It's, called, it's a song called Great Day. I want to thank Dave Kerriman. All right, good to see you, David, here. Thanks so much. And, of course, the Montero Mountain uh, Boy. All right. Get out and check, 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 check.